Hi, my name is Gala. I'm Looker Studio Expert and the founder of Gailey Reports. Today's video will be about pivot tables in Google Sheets. We have some date channel saved revenue, simple table, and we can create um, pivot table. It's super easy. Insert pivot table. Oh, I want to do it on a new sheet. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, here I can select rows will be like channel, for example and uh, my value will be sales and revenue. Now I want to calculate rows for each row. Uh, you can do like this and calculate rows kind of yeah but if you want if you change your pivot table this rows will be incorrect. Same logic for CTR CPC, cost per lead, conversion rates, all calculated metrics when you make some calculations. Um, what can we do with this? We can create calculated value column here. I remove this. I don't need it because it is not accurate. It is not correct. So the correct op option will be values add calculated field. And here we can write, uh, we can just type our field names. So our field name is revenue. If you're not sure, you can click tab and see it's already type our revenue. Then we can just write a formula like in a normal column. Mm, so divide by sales. And we have our row. So you can change this calculate field to title. To have it here you can change the uh, number of yeah, elements after number of decimals um yeah so it's already good if you have somewhere zero you will have error here so i use my options that i use all the time i type just you can type any formula here so you can just type if error and if you have somewhere error, it will replace for a blank metric. Super easy. But uh, if you have here not sales, if your field, uh, for example, daily sales, so you have two words, it could be more, a bit more tricky, but anyway, it's easy. So we come back here. Uh, let's check our rows formula. And as you see, we have small detail here. We don't type just sale, we type it with this, with small symbols. You see, this is a small detail when you have a space and the title of the column. That is it. And this is only one way to correct, to calculate rows or CTR, CPC, or everything like calculated metric in a pivot table in a correct way and get correct number. Hope you like this video. If you have some questions, you can ask me in the comment. If you want that I record some tips and tricks about specific topic, please, you can ask me. If I have several requests, I will make this video. Um, yeah, and see you soon.